today we look at the Cavs and the Warriors and how the Cavaliers' simple offense continues to get them into trouble again and again and again when compared to the Golden State Warriors' advanced offense where they will scream for each other non-stop until the best shot is found and when the best shot is found, you know what happens next. So yes, this is an issue of the advanced offense of the Warriors versus the simple offense of the Cavaliers. And here you can see a series of clips where the Cavaliers tend to attack as individuals. We all know LeBron James is deadly in the left block and in this game they went to him again and again. Now it was effective and LeBron got plenty of scoring chances out of the post and out of the pick and roll. But the point of this issue is that his teammates aren't moving at all and when they are, the options are simple. So over time, when this is done too much, because the fact is so simple, an advanced defense will get used to it and make you pay. And this attitude of attacking as individuals also carries over to Kyrie Irving, taking plenty of pull-ups, and obviously also J.R. Smith. Now, all of these shots went in, but this is simple offense. Golden State Warriors, on the other hand, this is how they like to attack. This is the beginning of the game first play, Harrison enters the ball into the high post to Bogut, Curry comes up a pin down, Harrison cuts through and goes through a pin down, Bogut rolls, Curry lobs, 2 points. Now all of that was done so great because the Warriors are committed and dedicated to an advanced offense that demands a lot of off ball and on ball screen as a unit. Watch this again in slow motion, watch this. Clay Thompson off ball screens Curry, Draymond off ball screens Harrison, Bogut and Curry runs an on ball screen handoff, lobs to Bogut. That's free freaking screens, alright? And this off ball screen attitude for the Warriors comes from everybody throughout the course of all 48 minutes. You can see here in this play, Curry comes with the floppy double down screen by the big man. And here, watch this slowly. Wait for it, wait for it. Watch Kevin Love getting killed by a silly. The ref's butt get out of the way. Boom! Kevin Love is creamed. Draymond Green, open three. Oh yeah, more off ball screens. Curry back pick Shumpert. Draymond Green cuts through to the middle. Richard Jefferson's got nothing. And one for Draymond. And we got more. Here, you remember this play. When LeBron shoves Curry, I know Curry answered with a free, but what Curry really answered is here. He back screens LeBron for Harrison and he pops out off a screen of Bogut, hits a free, drops LeBron. That's the payback, not the other free. This free was the payback because he dropped LeBron. Now the Cavs can actually do this, but they don't do it often or not enough. You can see here, Shumpert comes off a off ball screen of Virgil off to another on ball screen, hits the jumper. But majority of the time, this is what happens. Shumpert hits a pull up Jay, but watch closely. Watch Kyrie and Della Delova. See, Kyrie could have easily screened for Della Delova up there, off ball, but they just kind of casually walk around each other. And this casual walk around happens all the time where they could have just off ball screen LeBron and Kyrie up top. Watch it again. They casually walk around each other. Someone should have pinned Curry because they didn't do the off ball screen. Curry's allowed to guard two guys at once. Gets the steal, and yep, not enough off-ball screens by the Cavaliers, makes them pay. And the deadliest thing about the Warrior is that they will run off-ball screen and on-ball screens simultaneously. Watch this, Draymond pins off Clay Thompson down there, Clay gets the layup, but watch this closely. Watch up top this time, watch Curry and Bogut run the handoff on-ball screen, while Draymond pins Clay on the other side. So that's an on ball screen and an off ball screen done at the same time. And when this comes from the Warriors, this is no accident. Here it is again. Watch Draymond down here picking off Curry. Curry gets the corner free, but watch it again. There's actually an on ball screen up top between Bogut and Iggy. And then comes the Draymond pin down on Curry. Once again, on ball screen, off ball screen happening simultaneously. That's a fan's offense, not like the Cavaliers, alright? And watch this play one more time. This one is actually two off-ball screens simultaneously happening with one on-ball screen. This is how the Golden State Warriors play. They're dedicated and committed to this advanced offensive system. Now, and this actually gets sometimes ridiculous. They will fake off-ball screens. That's what the Warriors do. Watch Draymond here fake an off-ball screen to Klay Thompson. Watch, and then he's just gonna pop out, fake the screen. Kevin Love worries about the off-ball screen. 
Draymond pops out, he's been conditioned to walk for off-ball screens, but Draymond just fakes it, gets a free. Now, the Cavaliers don't do this nearly enough, as we have just proven. What they like to do is actually a 4-1 spread high pick and roll. And watch them kill the Raptors here. Kyrie gets in the paint, sorry Van and Chunas. And they also slice up the Washington Wizards. Kyrie just goes right down the middle. Fancy layup, love it. Here it is again, Nene steps on high, die, Nene splits the D, that is highlight material. And against the Warriors, they can kind of do it. Here's an up top Kevin Love screen, at least the Virgil layup. Here's a trailing screen, gets to Kevin Love, free ball. And that's it, alright? Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving out of pick and rolls and all that stuff. In the last two games versus the Warriors this year, Love and Kyrie a combined 13 for 47 versus GSW. So the 4-1 high pick and roll is great against Washington and Raptors, but not so much GSW. Now, Golden State Warriors on the other hand has their own 4-1 high spread high pick and roll attack, and theirs is messed up. J Monkey would catch it a lot in open space and he would dish it to his silly. And this happens again and again and again. Unlike a Kevin Love Kyrie pick and roll attack, this Draymond one with Curry kills the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers' high 4 pick and 1 attack does not work well against the Golden State Warriors. Golden State, on the other hand, destroys them. It's either layups, dunks, or pull up, freeze them, curry. And because of the fact that the Cavs can't, they don't do much off-ball screens, and their patented or favorite high spread 4-1 pick and roll don't work well against the Warriors, they end up throughout the course of a game against the Warriors, especially the last game, they were trading pull up 2s for the Golden State Warriors pull up freeze. So here you can see JR Smith doing his thing. This is this is what JR does. He'll hit a pull up once in a while. And here's Kyrie going away from the screen, going to the left side, and hits another pull up. And lastly, JR Smith with a nice pull up fadeaway at the baseline. This was their go-to offense, and the Warriors can play this game too. Alongside of all the off-ball screen and on-ball screens and the high spread 4-1 pick and roll, the Golden State Warriors can also shoot pull-ups. Except they shoot pull-up threes. So if the Key Living Cavaliers want to trade these shots. And they're dead. So to summarize pretty much what happened the last game, as you can see, the Cavaliers are a great team. It's just on a contending level, of all the four contenders in the NBA, they are probably the weakest contender because they have a very simple offense. The Warriors are miles ahead of them in terms of offense because theirs is just advanced. They can do everything the Cavaliers do better, and what the Cavaliers don't do or should be doing the Golden State Warriors does it fantastically. Of course, I'm referring to the off-board screens. So there you go. Are the Cavaliers done? No, but they need to dedicate and commit themselves to an advanced offense. Otherwise, they're stuck with this team for a long time because of the cap situation. If they don't advance on offense and they decide to keep the simple stuff, they can destroy the East for now. But if they face any of the higher contenders in the West, they'll get snuffed out. That's just the way it is. The offense is too simple. So as always, thanks for coming by, family. If you would like to see more NBA talk, you can click the links above. Or 2K16 tutorials, you can click those too. And in terms of applying this to 2K, make sure you run advanced offense and advanced Sam Fam offense, not the simple stuff. All right? I'll see all of you next time.